<laughs> there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Babarigo for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Just deserts of a dishonorable existence, no doubt. Such unbelievable prices I have for you, stimati clienti. You will say I am quite smart. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do... Please! Be one of Bartolomeo's men. 
What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stugs attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I'm Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! Queen, Must let's do it. Great! Finally, things get interesting! <laughs> what fun it will be! Stop! Let's see what you can do! You don't have the story. I will face put my fist in! We should go. Agreed. There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Even that they are numbered, it's 100 to 1. As you wish, fella. Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless, but that one's trouble. Sweet Frida, how I have missed you. Silvio set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, no need. What? Man. 
the other one. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them! It's get away. What fun this will be! Bianca, I hope she is unharmed. Everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. I'm poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So. I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good conscience, leave them behind. In Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Fall in. Remember to visit Mercutio's Cucina for all your black speech. Weapons, armor, rock speeding, and pale well-being. Serving Venetians with stylish quality for over three generations. Mercutio's of San Paolo.
We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. All right, this way. Seguimi. Let us join you. Together we will crush the Barbarigo. Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Exactly. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Andiamo. I... I... 
He's here! Please, Stronzo! Show them who the real guy is. Wait here for my signal. As you wish. Stay close. your ground here. Consider it done. Fall in. No! Look where you are going. Roger, get him! I always sat that spirit on your face. I didn't that spirit on your face. Where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. We had dropped. There! You will not get away! No, no, stay away 
from me. men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Bartolomeo needs my help. Must return to l'arsenale. Care for the company. By all means. You should be honored to die by his hand! Shoot, Sonny! Hold yours! Put them on! Hold 
My men and I will remain here, and keep the guards from giving chase. Hurry! They're going to leave without us! That man... What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio! Silvio is defeated, and the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace tranquillita. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo, but I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out.
There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. Ezio! Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex, leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia? When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend.